Number two, the Roman Catholic Church is the only organized religion fighting against eugenics. They have been from the very beginning. All right, let me stop you. And I'm going to let you continue. This may be the last call because I, I told the guys they'd be out of here by 10 after. We're now there. Listen, we may take a few more. This is a very in-depth issue, just like the last caller. Number one, I get accused of working for the Catholic Church when I'm not even Catholic. And I'm, but I'm not saying Catholics are bad. And so there's that whole crazy kind of Israeli-funded operation that anybody that criticizes world government that then, you know, kind of use a fake conspiracy theory against you to do that. But it is true that Pope John Paul II did call for a new world order in Latin. He did have that weird group with hundreds of religions there at the St. Peter's Basilica calling for it. I have the clip in Latin. My wife speaks Italian. I had her watch it because she lived in Italy for four years. And she said, no, yeah, he's calling for a global political authority, a loving globalization. And uh, Ratzinger's called for all sorts of stuff. I mean, Pope Benedict. So uh, I, I do know they speak out against abortion and eugenics. So I do know that's true. Because I flip around on XM and I've listened to Vatican Radio, and every time I listen, that's probably like five times they're speaking out against eugenics. So uh, you're right, they are doing that. But at the same time, they are calling for this other stuff. Go ahead and make your point. Read the encyclical. Don't listen to Reuters, okay? Reuters are liars. They hate the Catholic Church. So are you saying that... Uh, Pope Benedict did uh, did not call for a global government. That's right. There's no mention of it in his encyclical at all. Roy so, has completely fabricated that. Why don't you write a blurb for us and we'll, with footnotes and send it to writers and infowars dot com and we'll look into it. Okay, I appreciate it. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you. I appreciate your call. You know, we got Paul, Wisconsin, Tom, Ronnie, Rob, Ed. You know what? The crew's always nice. It comes in here on Sundays. But I'm going to leave it up to them. Guys, we can take two more calls or end it now. I'm going to leave it up to two more. Okay, we'll talk to we'll talk to uh, Paul in Wisconsin. Go ahead. Alex, uh, I was wondering if you were aware that uh, Clifford Carnicom found uh, uh, in his samples, he found uh, freeze-dried red blood cells. Uh, you know, desiccated erythrocytes. Sir, sir, Austin did test and found it. I, I played mainstream newscast where state health department in Washington state uh, tested it, and it was white blood cells. Yes, there's biological, there's chemical. They, you know, whole police stations get sick from this stuff. This is real. They are spraying us constantly. The perfect vehicle for a bioweapon. Yeah, and most of these weapons are binary, meaning they give you part of the weapon now, then they have the antidote for it, and they give you the second part later. They are doing, sir, they admit, ten, my film Endgame, tens of thousands of admitted tests that killed Americans. It's all for eugenics. These people are absolutely out of control. And how do you get the public to care about this instead of Michael Jackson? Alex, uh, uh, could I just read you a list like, off uh, Clifford Carnicom's site? Can yeah, by the way, you? I've told I my producer. To yeah, go ahead. In this stuff. Here, here I go. Aluminum, barium, boron, cadmium, calcium, chromium, copper, iron, lead, magnesium, manganese, nickel, potassium, silicon, sodium, strontium. And yeah, I said it, strontium. It's strontium. And vandium and zinc. That's what's in the air. And that's all I have to say. We love you, Alex. Have a nice afternoon. God bless you, brother. Yeah, it's... Um, we called Carnicom about a year ago, and he said, I'll come on in a month. I'm finishing a project right now. And then you forget to get him back on. I want notes all over Dew's desk. Carnicom, 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 Carnicom. I was about Carnicom with Charlie Sheen this morning. Uh, we need to get... Because I want Carnicom back on, not just the Skywatch lady and others, now that they're just admitting all this crap. Oh, there's no chemtrailing. Uh, you say we're spraying barium salts and aluminum and all this. That's not going on. It's not a terraforming project that happens to also be toxic to reproductive organs. And then, oh, to save the Earth, we want to spray you with exactly what the kooks said that we were spraying them with. 
Last call, and I'm sorry to Ronnie and Rob and Ed, but we got time for Tom in Florida, and that's it. Tom, you're on the air worldwide. Hey, man. Hey, buddy. I got one thing to say. It's a perfect uh, uh, introduction to what I'm saying. Uh, the only thing, the only element that there is that can bind to every other element is oxygen. The medicinal use of oxygen. Nikola Tesla invented the first machine, ozone machine, back in 1890 for medicinal use. Yeah, oxygen is better than 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 silver solution. It's better than antibiotics. It eats through steel, and we're these awesome creatures that live in a high radiation environment, right up against the sun, that breathe a gas that'll eat steel. And I'm surprised they haven't said it's toxic needs to be banned. But uh, they're already trying to ban what plants breathe: <laughs> carbon dioxide. It's oxygen, all right. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's oxygen it, 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 in the bioactive form. There's a video out uh, from Canada, Oxygen in the Politics of Medicine, Ozone in the Politics of Medicine. It, it points out there was a clinic in Germany. That's a conspiracy because, theory. Because, oxygen, uh, hold on. Oxygen isn't good. I mean, I do believe it. It does make me live, but it's it's evil. And we need to, we need, we need to, in fact, there is some oxygen, talk now. It's, it's, not, it's not carbon dioxide that's polluting the earth. It's a lack of oxygen. <laughs> Sir, I was being sarcastic, I know. No, no, I mean, we need, the carbon cycle is sunlight, water, carbon dioxide, and oxygen. All four are needed for life. But there is some talk now about restricting oxygen as well. They're now saying oxygen may be bad. I always joked about that. And we're going to be the conspiracy kooks. We believe oxygen Nicholas is good. 1890. 1890. He had a cure for everything. Well, I know oxygen right? is really great, and I appreciate your call. Uh, anytime I hear cure for everything, you got to look out. But oxygen is really important. Animals do breathe it. Animal life does live off of it. I know that's a conspiracy theory and shocking to some, but carbon dioxide and oxygen are good. Well, that was two hours and 18 minutes of transmission today. Great job to the crew in there. We're now simulcasting the Sunday transmission at prisonplanet.tv. We'll join you in retransmission from two hours ago when I was covering the science director of the entire federal government and his textbook about taking your babies at birth, CPS ruling, paramilitary force, killing your babies, toxins in your food and water, and a lot more. Retransmission with some of the most important information I've ever covered. A huge break in the case, a textbook that covers the full spectrum of what they're doing, not a piece here and not a piece there. This is key. Great job, crew. We'll see you back tomorrow live, 11 a.m. Central at InfoWars.com. Let's take these bastards on. Let's take our planet back and say, you're not going to exterminate us. We're coming for you, New World Order. Boom! This is Alex Jones. Have you heard of the Millionaire Patriot? Well, you should. He has a free handgun and five days of firearms training waiting for you. That's right. You can attend five days of world-class gun training at Front Sight Firearms Training Institute and secure a 30-state concealed weapons permit, all for pennies on the dollar. Plus, if you act fast, the Millionaire Patriot will give you a free Springfield Armory XD pistol in the caliber of your choice. I believe now is the time that you and your family need to be armed and trained to levels that exceed law enforcement and military standards. Front Sight provides such training without any boot camp mentality or drill instructor attitudes. This is real. Don't miss out. Secure a Front Sight defensive handgun course, plus a 30-state concealed weapons permit for pennies on the dollar, and get your free handgun. Go to FrontSight.com today. That's F-R-O-N-T-S-I-G-H-T.com. Go to FrontSight.com for your training and free gun.